Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to model a simple sword on Blender. Let's get right into this. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and clear out your screen, and go ahead and load in your reference. So to do that, click Shift A, go down to Image Reference, and then open your reference image. And also, I forgot to mention, make sure you are in this point of view, or else it will end up looking weird like that. And there we go. So this is our reference image right here. If you are looking for reference images, I recommend looking up stylized swords on Google. If you want a simple sword, then type in simple stylized swords, but overall it will go ahead and pop up some pretty nice looking swords, so I recommend doing that. Also by the way, if at any point in this video you are confused on what buttons I am clicking, down here at the bottom right, you can go ahead and see what buttons I'm clicking. So if I click E, it will go ahead and show E and all that stuff. So first off, what we want to do, click Shift A and load in a plane, click tab, and click M, merge at them at the center. Make sure you're on vertices select up here as well. And then just go in this point of view right here, and what we wanna do is outline the sword. If your sword is perfectly symmetrical, then what you wanna do is go over here. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. Go to this wrench, click add modifier, and add a mirror modifier, there we go. Yeah, so we're gonna mirror it on the Y axis. So now what we wanna do is click tab, Let's go ahead and just merge all those at the center, grab our vertices, and what we wanna do is outline the blade, but first what we wanna do is make sure that our vertices are actually lined up. Right here, this one is on the edge, but that one isn't, so let's move it like this, click tab, and let's move this over, and there we go. All right, now they're perfectly lined up. So now what we wanna do is just outline the blade. So go ahead and scroll in, by the way, to move around, hold down shift and also hold down the middle mouse button and you can move around like that. So select your vertice, click E, and then just place it along this thing. So click E, click, then click E again, click, and then click E again. And there we go, just like that. If you want to move around even more, you can click G to just move around that vertice. And let's go ahead and move that one up as well. And as you can see, it is getting mirrored onto the other side. So actually, let's move this one up a little bit more. And you pretty much just want to follow the inner side of the blade. Don't follow the sharp part. You can if you want to. But I highly recommend just following the inner part of the blade. Because we are going to do the sharp part later on. So just follow the inner part of the blade like this. And also by the way if your sword isn't perfectly symmetrical. Then you would just like not turn on the mirror, mirror modifier. Because of course it wouldn't be symmetrical. So we are getting up to the point right up here, so at the top. So if it wasn't perfectly symmetrical, at the top what you would do, instead of like just stopping right here, you would have to go back down this side of the blade and do it. But since this one is symmetrical, we can just do it all the way to the top. By the way, what we want to do is turn on clipping. So right here, just toggle that on. And then the vertices should stick together. And there we go. That is looking pretty good. And also down here, what we are going to do, just click this, click E, click off to the side, and then just move it towards the center. There we go. And now what we want to do, just click this, click apply, which we actually have to go out of edit mode. So click tab, click this, apply, and then go back into edit mode. And what you want to do is go over here, highlight both of the vertices, and just click F. And then we'll go ahead and connect them. So F. So how you do it is you just click one, shift, hold down shift, click the other, click F, and there we go. So not every vertice has to be lined up. So if this vertice right here was like deleted, then we wouldn't really have to connect another vertice to it. So if your sword isn't symmetrical, then don't worry about having every, every vertice connect to another vertice. So there we go. Now once we did that, click this button up here to go to edge select and select all the edges just like this and click F. So if you are if you didn't mirror your sword, then what you want to do is select all of the edges around it and then click F. But if you did mirror your sword, then you can just go like this. We can select this one, the one across from it, and click F. Then click this one and then just click F and it should just fill it in all the way down. Only if it is mirrored though and if every vertice is connecting to another one. And there we go. Awesome. Now what we want to do, go to face select up here. Click H select all. Go to the side view. Click E to extrude it. And about right there, you can always make it thinner later on. So don't worry about making it too thick. And now what we want to do, click Control R. Add a loop cut right down the middle like this and then right click to keep it in the center. And now what we are gonna do, and yeah, let's go ahead and turn on mirror modifier again. So go over here, turn the mirror modifier back on, click this, click along the Y axis, and there we go. So it should be good now. Yep, now it is mirroring once again. So what we wanna do now is grab the top point first before we do anything else. Let's just go ahead and move it up. 
since this one is kind of like at an angle the picture is probably not going to line up exactly but there we go and let's just go ahead and go into this side view and let's just highlight down the middle there we go and yeah since this picture is like perfectly symmetrical what we can do is we can just drag it outward and there we go we're, we're done if your sword isn't symmetrical then what i recommend doing is just grabbing each individual point like this and then just following the blade down so if we didn't do that we would grab this would follow the blade down and grab this and then just we we would just follow the blade but this is much much easier if your sword isn't symmetrical then what i recommend doing is just watching my youtube video on how to make a sword from a year ago because that one explains completely how to do it if your sword is or isn't symmetrical just so that one is pretty good and yeah this is looking pretty much good so now what we're gonna do now we're gonna stay in edit mode let's select this vertice right here click shift d to duplicate it move it down here and now let's just click e to extrude extrude up here and down here as well and now this one i don't really worry too much about connecting the vertices which actually yeah i'll go ahead and connect them i guess since it's only two there we go and now let's just go ahead and select all of these click f these ones f and then these ones f now this part is pretty much the exact same as the sword so extrude over here add a loop cut down the middle and we're just gonna go ahead and yell it up and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and just line it up with the edges by the way you can go into wireframe by holding down z and then going into wireframe like that and then you can see everything that is behind it which is pretty helpful and there we go that is that part it is kind of thick so we're going to click l on one of the points click s x to go ahead and scale it down by the way up here if your sword is looking pretty thick what you can do is click it click l click s x to scale on the x-axis and then it will make it thinner just like that now for the rest of this part we don't really need the mirror modifier anymore so what we'll do is we'll go out of edit mode We'll just apply that and now what we'll do we'll just add a cylinder so mesh cylinder r y 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the y axis edit mode scale it on the x axis move it down scale it and then what we're going to do is go in wireframe just make sure it's all lined up so there we go i'm not really lining it up with the middle but i'm lining it up with the arrows right here in the middle of the sword and now we'll also line it up with this to make sure it's centered awesome now we'll select this face and click Control b and scroll up a little bit on your mouse to go ahead and add more bevels and we'll do it like this click it and then scale it up a little bit more and now we'll click this face this face we'll click i to inset it a little bit click alt e extrude faces long normals move them in and now we'll click this hold down alt click the edge over here hold down shift hold down alt click the edge and we'll click b to bevel it just like this and now for the inside part it looks like what we want to do is select this face, this face, click Alt E, extrude faces along normal, move them outwards, scale it down a little bit just like this, click I to inset, and all right, now hold down Alt E, extrude faces along normal, move them in. Now what we want to do is click Shift D to duplicate it, and Alt E, extrude faces along normals, extrude it out quite a bit, click Control B to bevel it just like this. We'll scroll up to add a little bit more bevels, and all right, looking good. Now click L, S, X to scale it along the X axis, looking good. Now just move it inward. All right, now we'll click Shift D and R, Z, 180 to rotate it 180 degrees move it over here and then just move it over here so it looks good as well and there we go so of course you don't have to do all of that if your sword doesn't look exactly like this one yeah so now what we'll do is we'll select these parts right here and we can right click and click shade auto smooth and now what we'll do just to add a little bit more